In the past few years, I've helped multiple coaches grow six and seven figure businesses. And so today what I'm going to do is unpack exactly what I help them to do step by step. I'm going to be covering how to find your target audience, how to find the perfect product or service for you, how to create an irresistible offer and so much more. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you my $1,000 value, direct messaging, sales script, so you never have to do sales calls again if you don't want to, and just sell directly in DM. So let's dive into it. So here's the very first thing. You gotta identify your target audience, whether you're a fitness coach, a life coach, a business coach, a spiritual coach, you need to know exactly who you're talking to because here's the thing. If you think you're going to talk to everyone, you're talking to no one. People need to feel like you totally understand them. So you need to be very clear on who you're speaking to. So the first thing that I want you to do is a little bit of self-reflection. Think about who you are. What have you done in your life? What experiences have you had? What kind of certifications have you had? And no, you don't have to have certifications in order to be a coach. I'm just letting you know that. But what lights you up? I really want you to think about that. Make a list, set it aside, and come back to it in a couple days. You have to be passionate about what you're coaching on in order to build a multiple six and seven figure business. Now, the second thing that's really important in identifying your audience is to do some market research. See what's going on out there. See what audiences seem to be getting the most play. It's very important because if you want to coach an obscure audience that really isn't looking for your potential coaching services, then you might not have the right audience to talk to. The other thing that's really important in here is when you're doing your market research, check out your competition. Make a list of your top 10 competitors. See what they're offering. See what they're doing. What does their social presence look like? What are their websites look like? What are their products and services? What are their bonuses? What are their guarantees? What are their price points? The third thing that's really important is you want to have your own persona. Who are you? How do you want to show up in the online space? Of course you want to be authentic, but I want you to be the best you. So think about what that looks like for you. The fourth thing, I want you to survey your audience. So if you already have an audience, even if it's small, then I want you to put some information out there. Ask them what they're looking for. It's always important for you to have an understanding uh, and your finger on the pulse of what's going on in the marketplace of your audience. The other thing that I would suggest you do is use a tool called keysearch.co. This will really help you do some searching on your ideal clients and find out what is happening in the market space and what they're typing in Google to look for. Lastly, I want you to go out and start putting some things out there and doing some testing, you know, because it's really important to test and see if things land or if they don't land with your potential audience. All right, so now here comes the second part where you need to identify the market gap and your product or service market fit. So I've already talked about doing market research and competitor analysis. I wanna dive in to what is your unique value proposition? I want you to really think about what is unique about what you bring to the table or what solution you're thinking about bringing to the table that is different from your competitors out there. Now, don't get me wrong. It could be very similar. It might just be that two degree difference that will change the game for you. That will be your unique value proposition. So I want you to think about what is that? What does that look like for you? And of course, you can always reach out to me and I can help you with that. Now, the next thing, and this is really important, is this. Consider creating an MVP, a minimal viable product, like a pilot program. This is where you put together something, say it's a six week course or a four week course, and you invite like five people to take part in your MVP and in return, they can have it for free or low cost. They give you an incredible testimonial, of course, if they thought it was wonderful. So you now have social proof that your course or program was amazing. And this is great because then you can take that social proof and put it on your sales pages and share it with people who will be 
your potential clients. And of course, you always want to do further testing and feedback. So you'll get feedback from doing this MVP. When you take, get the feedback, I want you to then go into your program, course, or whatever that, that thing was and make adjustments. So the second round is even better. Okay. The third thing, this is so important. You've got to create an incredible offer. I know I recommended that you do an MVP, a pilot program. So now you've done this, maybe you've done it a couple times. Now you want to take that information and create the juiciest offer out there that people are so compelled to buy. Think of it like this. If you have an offline business or brick and mortar and it's on a busy street and you have a really cool sign out there and words gotten around, People will keep coming to your restaurant over and over to buy. Well, it's the same thing with your offer. It's got to be super juicy. So when you put it out in the online space, people are like, oh my gosh, I need to learn more. I'm super excited about this. So I'm going to share with you, how do you create this really juicy offer that people cannot say no to? It's irresistible. Okay, the first thing is you've got to deeply understand your audience. You need to know them better than they know themselves. So here's a little tip I'm going to tell you to do. Yes, of course, you wanna check out social media. You wanna learn about them. You can do all kinds of cool things, but here's something that I think is a game changer. If you go to Amazon and you check out really popular books that are in your niche, I want you to go to the reviews and start reading the reviews you will start to see a trend and I want you to write down what are the things that people are saying, oh my gosh, this book helped me do this. This book was a game changer because it helped me do this. I had this problem and I no longer have it. Yada, yada, yada. I want you to write those things down because those are marketing gold. That language is stuff that you want to put inside your offer and you're also going to use that language on your sales pages. So be sure to really understand your audience better than they understand themselves. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your solution is unique. I know for some of you, this might be like, well, how can I be different? Remember, it's just that two degree difference. The other thing is what you want to understand is you want to name every single thing that you have in your solution, name your signature system, name how you do things. So you stand out because I will tell you if you name your things, as part of your solution and the things inside your solution, that's different than everybody else. If worse comes to worse and that's the only thing that's different, I will tell you what, that will make a huge difference for you. Name it to claim it, baby. So that's really truly how you stand out in the market space. Okay, I'm gonna share with you a secret. I always tell people, clearly, clearly outline your benefits, but it's not just the benefits. It's the inherent benefits. You always want to have a program promise. So if you're coaching, you're selling a program or a course, you need a program or course promise. But here's the marketing goal. This is the secret sauce I use with my multi-million dollar clients. I have them go through their program and all their modules. You want six to eight modules and every single module has a module promise. What are people getting out of that promise? And no, I'm not just going to go through module one and get clarity. I'm going to go through module one and get clarity so that I can do what? And then I have them paint a picture of what your life will look like. Like maybe you're walking on the beach and you're kicking the sand with your toes and you realize that you're holding the hand of your perfect mate that you manifested in six weeks or you out to dinner and all of a sudden you look down and you realize you're wearing that black cocktail dress that you haven't worn for six years. So you see what I'm doing there? I'm doing so that statements and I'm giving real life examples that will make you stand out above everyone else. I don't even care if you think your market is saturated using this technique, you can build a multiple million dollar brand. All right. So it's really important that the way you present your offer is beautiful. It's high end. It is so compelling. So I want you to think about the visuals that you're using and the language you're using. So I just shared with you my secret sauce for my million dollar and multiple million dollar brands on how they come up with these module promises. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that language. You're going to create this beautiful sales page with high end images that are really appealing to your audience 
and then you're going to use some of that copy inside your audience. And if you're not a copywriter, that's fine. Hire someone or use ChatGBT, Jasper. There's so many of them out there to help you outline it and write it and then insert this language in it and change the language to really be authentic to you, but it will help you get a good start. This is how you can add so much value to your sales pages. Now, the other thing that's really important is, you remember I told you to do that MVP where you got those testimonials as social proof? Now you can insert them into this incredibly beautiful and well-written sales page so that you have social proof and then it ties all together like a beautiful bow. Don't forget to put your bonuses in there, your guarantees, and obviously your price. And as always, do some testing, get feedback, and make changes as you go. There is no such thing as being done in the online space. It's continual leveling up. Now let's go ahead and talk about the next thing that's super important to grow a multiple million dollar brand. All right, so this part is really important. This is all about your online presence and really getting out there in the social media world. So I'm gonna share with you a couple things. The first one is you've got to build a huge iconic framework. I'm always like, go big or go home. Here's the thing. You want to have what I would call a superstar presence in the online space where you're showing up everywhere. You can create content for one platform and use AI to push it out everywhere. You can even use AI to help you create it. If you want help with this, make sure to DM me or put yes in the comments below and I will reach out to you. So here's the thing. What I want you to do first is, especially if you haven't built out content like this before, is pick one platform that you love being on and your ideal clients are on. I want you to create compelling, incredible content for this platform. Be sure that you create content that's brand awareness content and also a marketing campaign type of content that overlays your brand awareness content. Make it so appealing that it stops the scroll. You only have three seconds to grab someone's attention. Now, here's the other key though. Once you've gotten that content really dialed in, so say you're creating content for TikTok, you can then download those TikToks, take off the watermark and use those TikTok videos as reels and stories for your Instagram. And then you create additional content for your Instagram. So let me share a little hack with you for Instagram. If you want to go Instagram viral or get really well known, you've got to use all of the features on Instagram and that will change the game for you. So you have to think about each platform, how to use it, how to get along with the logarithm so that it will blow up your social media content and your framework. That's what I call an iconic framework. It will change the game for you. And I'll tell you what, when you build out this framework, if you look me up, you'll see that I'm everywhere. At the end of the day though, I didn't get started by being everywhere. I got started with one platform. So pick one platform, get really good at it, and then use AI to help you push out content on all the other platforms. Here's what will happen. People will start reaching out to you. It's funny how it works because when they see you everywhere and you hear this, these magical words, I see you everywhere. You know that they're a buyer. You know they're interested. You've got a hot sizzling offer. It will change everything in your business. So I talked a lot about content creation, which is awesome. It gets you extremely visible. It will help people reach out to you. There's another piece though, another layer. That's your lead gen. So you get really visible and then you need a way to capture your lead. I recommend three lead magnets. The first one that works so well is a really fun quiz because it's light. People love taking quizzes and you can capture their information and nurture them through email and invite people to DM you or get on a sales call. The second one I recommend is a video sales letter. This could be something like, it could be one video, it could be two short videos that's almost like a mini type of workshop. It's very, very fun. People like it, they're learning something. And once again, you can make an offer and you can nurture them through email. And then the third thing is using case studies or white papers to showcase your results. So people feel like, wow, it's an opt-in, they opt-in, they give their name and information, they get this really cool case study that shows how you help some, someone go from here to here. 
and they can relate to, oh, that person was just like me and now they've had this result. You could even have a collection of case studies. Those are the three lead magnets that I highly recommend that you put in place in your business and then you can drive traffic to those from the social media presence that you've built out or you can run ads. Now here's what I will tell you. I highly recommend you do this organically at first once you've set up those three lead magnets and you're driving traffic till you hit consistent 20K months and then from there, you know you've got a proven offer, you can grow and scale, you can still do it organically or you can add some paid ads to the mix. The last piece here is time management. So you've built out this incredible brand. You need some help. So I highly recommend that you really think about time management. You can't do this all yourself. I recommend that you go and get a team started. A virtual assistant is really helpful. Someone that knows how to do tech. And there's very efficient ways to do this. I love using onlinejobs.ph or freeup.net. There's so many places where you can look for affordable help that people that are skilled at their craft that can help you so you're not bootstrapping all of this by yourself because it will take you so much longer to grow and scale. The other thing about time management is prioritize your time. Use a time management system that works for you. I love the Pomodoro method. You can look it up. It's short bursts of time. And then I reward myself every five minutes after I've done this short burst of time. It will change the game for you. You also have to prioritize self-care so that you can relax, step away from technology, and really feed your soul. That could also include personal development time. And of course, always make time for family, friends, and your hobbies. You have to have the downtime. And when you show back up in the online space and you're helping your clients, creative ideas come. You're leaving space for better and more incredible clients, collaborations, and connections to come your way. So look, I've just shared with you the whole plan that I put in place for my coaches that grow six and seven figure businesses. You can do the same thing. It's your time. Here's what I will share with you. If you're just starting your business, take it one step at a time. Invest in yourself, invest in your mindset, Make sure you get the help and the mentor you need. And if you want to work with me and explore what that would look like, please say work with me in the comments below. Remember, if you like this video, please subscribe and like this video for more content just like this. And remember, you're not just creating a business, you're creating a legacy.